Hi, this is Tali and welcome to Buildroo.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California, and I'm here with Brian from Sterling Energy Systems, and he's going to talk to us a bit about their uh, new CSP technology. So, Brian, how are you? Very good. Good for you, too. Great. So, uh, can you talk to us about this product behind me and uh, why a utility company would choose to do uh, your particular CSP product versus any other CSP provider or maybe a PV uh, uh, module that's on the market? So the major advantage of Sterling Energy Systems technology is that our technology isn't using any water for electricity production. Every other uh, CSP technology needs water for cooling. Our only use for water is for washing mirrors. So basically we have a closed system. We have a mirror which is concentrating the sun in this area of the solar receiver. There's some hydrogen gas inside the, the engine. It's a Sterling engine so it's very efficient mainly because we've got a high temperature difference between the 700 or so degrees centigrade of the hydrogen and the environmental um, conditions. Um, our engine is completely clean, there's no combustion process involved, it's very efficient, um, and it's driving this alternator that you see on the end that directly produces grid quality electricity. So there's no power electronics, there's no harmonics, uh, there's no interference, it's, it's, it's high quality grid electricity. Um, one of the other advantages is that the technology is very scalable. It's a 25 kilowatt building block, which is much bigger than a PV system that typically has 100 or 200 watt modules. Uh, so our technology is it's based on replicating this very uh, highly cost engineered, value engineered product and replicating that thousands of times. So a 50 megawatt plant would have 2,000 of these units, each one identical, a very well developed maintenance regime, a highly reliable machine. Okay, so I have here with me Jeff from Sterling Energy Systems and he's going to talk to us about their uh, manufacturing process for this product and their supply chain. Well, tell you at uh, SES, we're using an outsourced engineering, manufacturing, and supply chain uh, uh, management model. So behind us is the heart of the uh, uh, Suncatcher system, and the heart of the Suncatcher is the, the PCU module that you see here, and inside the module is the Sterling engine. So we have gone back to an automotive uh, a high volume supply chain in Detroit, Michigan. Here specifically it's Linamar Corporation and their division McLaren Engine Technologies to manufacture the Sterling engine and then assemble the PCU unit. Behind me over here you can also see the mirror facet which is the reflective sur uh, surface for our Suncatcher machine and for this, the mirror facet we have gone to a high volume automotive stamping company called Tower Automotive also in Detroit, Michigan and they stamp and then assemble uh, the, the, the mirror uh, substrate uh, to the outside of the facet. So Jeff, what made the company go to automotive uh, component manufacturers uh, for the production of this product? Well, for a couple of reasons. Uh, right now, the recession has created a situation where there is open capability, engineering capability, and manufacturing capacity in the auto industry. But the real reason that we were attracted uh, both to the auto and aerospace industries is that they have a very good track record of going from prototype to low volume to very high volume production. So they can scale, they can, they can ramp up uh, very rapidly with high quality uh, components made uh, to specification. Yeah, secondly, uh, the auto industry is second to none in terms of being able to work with their customers uh, to drive down cost over time over the business planning cycle. Uh, in addition, the uh, auto and aerospace uh, industries have proven uh, quality and many manufacturing systems in place that we're able to leverage and build upon. Okay, so what is Sterling Energy Systems distribution model for this product? Well, our distribution and logistics model is to have our tier one supplier partners, that is the supplier partners of these major subsystems, deliver to our project sites just in time so that SES can then assemble the subsystems into sun catchers at the rate of up to 100 a day. Okay, so Jeff, uh, is this product available in the market? Yes, it is. It, uh, our, our project development company, Tessera Solar, is right now developing a 1.5 megawatt project called Maricopa Solar just outside uh, Phoenix, Arizona in, in Peoria. Okay, Jeff, thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much. This is Tali from Builder.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you for watching.